All right, what is going on guys? So today I wanna to talk about SQLite. Recently, my favorite database, Planet Scale, went ahead and completely axed their free tier. They're kind of changing their business model, trying to become much more of an enterprise-y solution. They're kind of getting rid of that free tier, big, large scale B2C model, which I'm not here to debate the merits of that. For them, it makes sense. I have full faith. I still think it's an amazing product, but for me personally, I need something else. I am working on a bunch of different projects, constantly making different things, and I need a database for a lot of these projects. You know, for me, $40 a month is not a huge deal when you're funded and you're growing and you're making a ton of money, it's not a big deal. But for a broke little college student me, it is a very, very big deal. And I really can't run that for all my projects these days, so I need something else. And the solution that I've kind of come down to, I've tested a lot of different things. I made a video recently kind of breaking down my thoughts on all these different databases. The one, well, there are really two, and I'll talk about that at the end of the video, but one of the ones that I've really settled on, I think is SQLite. And I think ultimately I'm going to be betting on SQLite and running that as the primary database for what is probably my most ambitious project block. And we're going to be using that to power our backend. So why did I pick SQLite? So for those of you who aren't familiar, SQLite is the simplest database I know of. It is literally just a file. The database for this project is this local.db file. It's, I don't know what it's encoded in, but it's just a little file. And the way I can work with this in my project is I literally just go into my database file. I can connect to it by just setting my URL to be file local.db, and that's my database. That's all I need. But obviously the question with this then becomes, okay, great, you have this local database. It makes it super easy to uh, prototype with. Uh, DB push is a great tool here because Drizzle, if you're not familiar with it, has a feature where I can take my schema, push that into the database, and it will just push those changes in. Don't need to do migrations or anything annoying like that. Um, and that works really well here because worst case scenario, if my local.db gets all fucked up, I can just delete it and make a new one. As someone who has spent a lot of time working with MySQL and Postgres in local Docker images, I cannot tell you how nice it is to just have a file be my database and I can just use it as a file. It's great. But the obvious question that comes with that is then, okay, how do I take this to production? And also, does this do everything I need? So to start with the question of, does it do everything I need? The answer is pretty much yes. SQLite does much less than MySQL or Postgres. They both have way more features built into them, but generally speaking, I find myself not really using a lot of those features. I typically just kind of need to store text, I need to store relations, I need to store numbers, and I need to store booleans. And SQLite can do all of that. It can handle all that stuff. It works perfectly for my use case. I can store my dates in there. I can store my references in there. It's not a big deal. So then the question really at that point just becomes, okay, if we've got this really nice local database system that's just a file, it's insanely fast, and it does everything I need and has a great developer experience, well, okay, how do we get this in production? And that would be the obvious pitfall, at least in the past it was. Uh, Obviously, if this is just a little file, we can put that into like maybe if we want to host our app on a VPS, we could put that in the storage of that VPS and then connect to it that way. I think that's the way a lot of old apps worked. Don't quote me on that. I'm 21. I didn't really live through that, but that's my general understanding. But that's not going to work super well for the use case I have. I am a big serverless guy. I'm going to be hosting this on Vercel. I'm going to be doing a bunch of fancy modern stuff. So I need my database to be able to handle that. And luckily, there's a new solution that's come along that I'm really going to be betting my app on here, uh, and that is Terso. I think Terso is the reason why I'm comfortable taking SQLite to the next level. Now, this is very new, and this is very unproven. The reason why I titled this video Betting on SQLite is because this is a bet. You know, say what you will about PlanetScale and the issues with them changing their pricing and doing a quote-unquote rug pull, but putting my app on PlanetScale is not a bet. They are serving the back end for Fortune 500 companies. They are a very well-established, very secure, very large scale, very trustable database. Terso's new. I've heard very good things about them. I've done extensive testing of them. I'm really very bullish on what they're doing here, but it is newer. This is a newer technology and a newer company. The way they made this work is they actually forced SQLite and created a new thing called LibSQL. And LibSQL is a great way for modern applications to work with SQLite. I'm not gonna get deep into what it is in this video, but it's effectively what'll allow us to connect to this from a serverless environment, to scale this up more, to make this work in a modern performant environment. And and that's kind of the pitch here. The developer experience is amazing. The ability to scale this up works really well. And ultimately, this is what I'm going to go with. I think this will be the backend database for Block. Ultimately, like I said, this is a bet. I am not 
partnered with. I'm not sponsored by anyone in this team. I don't know anyone at Terso. I follow them and I like what they're doing, but I have no affiliation. And ultimately, I want to see how this works out. I, you know, the promise here is pretty amazing. And if this pans out the way I think it will, and it has so far, I think SQLite is going to be an incredibly compelling solution for databases for not Fortune 500 companies in the future. I think, you know, I've heard a lot of people that I really respect say that SQLite goes a lot further than you think. And, you know, I'm going to put that to the test. I don't have a firm answer on how this is going to turn out, but I'm very excited. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, I'll keep you updated with whether or not this works out.